Hi everyone, welcome to today's update. All about sell-off and all about TCS yesterday. Yesterday night, I had released a forecast on how TCS results could look like today. The results were announced about an hour back and I just released a very short video on the update. Do watch it to catch up on the result. Two standout points. Yesterday, I had mentioned that the team sizes globally in IT are reducing a lot and that will reflect in team sizes. TCS has said that their headcount has declined for the first time in 19 years. That kind of resonates with the fact that I had mentioned. Just for context, while I'm creating financial videos, I'm a chief technology officer by profession, been into IT for 25 years. TCS has also announced good increments for the top talent. This is again something I had mentioned yesterday, retention, 13% attrition that needed to be controlled. And no, no one at TCS was listening to my update or me. This is something which I also thought is relevant in TCS's context. Let's now jump to today's market action. Besides TCS, everything was red. The index was 1% down. Bank index outperformed Nifty because it was down only 0.65%. All heavyweights except TCS were crashing down today. Rands down 0.75%. HDFC down 1.25%. ICICA, ATL, everything down. The FIDI data is not released yet, but FI for sure will be heavy sellers in today's market. DIIs may have stepped in to control the market sentiment and bought whatever the FI is sold. DI number will still be lesser than what FI is sold most likely. The day actually did not start that badly. Till about lunchtime, markets were holding reasonably well. They were not down. In fact, a lot of my positions were in green at that time. Post lunch came the huge sell off. And that was relentless. Markets kept going down and down. It actually intensified after 3 o'clock. Seems like no one wanted to carry forward their positions to Monday because of the uncertainty of what might happen. Because US is talking about a war on Iran. A lot of things might happen over the weekend. So people don't want to take the risk on what might happen in the two and a half days till Monday morning. How did we do on the indices? Nifty 50, hardly any green. TCS the known one. Tata Motors was up half percent. Bajaj Auto was up. Auto seems like they did well. Rest everything was red. Yeah, nothing noticeable. Some of the large players, HUL, HCL, Maruti, TCS, ATL, they had more than 100% volumes. A very high volume day today. Seems like heavy, heavy selling from FIs based upon the volume pattern. Till not too many stocks are away from 52 week high. If you see the top five, they are very close despite the fall today. So bulls are nowhere gone as of now. Bank Nifty, everything red. The small gains in Indescent, AU Small Finance, Bandhan, I'll not even count. Axis was down a lot, 1.3% on very high volume. Nifty next 50, HL was up. I exited my position. PL was up. ABB was up. Vedanta has been going up last one week or so. Rest everything red. Varun Beverages. 2.65%. Varun has actually gone down a lot in the last week. Nothing stands out. IRCTC for some reason was up 3.4%. Again, here also volume pattern indicates very high volumes for certain stocks. Most of the stocks are still very close to 52 week high. Beers be aware, bulls are still around. I closed most of the trades which I mentioned in the week except persistence options trade. All of them looked better at the end of the day in terms of selling because most stocks had fallen a lot from the prices at which i sold decent profit in nearly all of them south indian bank was a minor loss overall satisfied with the trades for the week made less money than i thought but it's okay india cpi data as per my calendar also is supposed to be released today there is no mention in the news anywhere i don't know if i got it wrong because all sites are just singing the songs of tcs's results right now UK's GDP and manufacturing data, nothing to talk about, 0.1% increase in GDP. People in UK are celebrating the increase, 0.1% increase means nothing. That too, I don't know why in April they are talking about the increase in February. What about March? Will they publish it in May? Overall, eventful day to day, lot of events might happen in the next two and a half days. Very difficult to say what will happen in the market. US markets will be weak only mostly. I have not seen the pre-opening rates. I think both S&P and NASDAQ will be on the negative side. Monday, it will all depend upon what is happening between US and Iran and how the CPI data for India looks like if it is released today. The data should be green only. I'll see you on Monday.